There's a huge game at the Liberty Stadium this Friday night when Clermont Auvergne visit in round five of the European Rugby Champions Cup. Join us now as we look ahead to the big game in the company of Brendan Leonard and Dan Evans. Brendan, first things first, since we last spoke, you've become a father, a young girl born in Swansea. Congratulations. Thank you very much. She came uh, Christmas Eve, so it was a nice early Christmas present for me and my wife and um, we called her uh, Siren Ruby which is a, Siren's obviously the Welsh for star so a uh, nice Welsh girl. And how are, you coping, how are you coping with parenthood now being on your own thousands of miles away from family and friends? Yeah it's not too bad. Um, to be fair my wife does most of the work during the night so I just uh, get a good eight hours sleep to be honest so um, no we're going well. I've both mother and daughter settling in nicely. And that allowed you to return to action last weekend and how did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. Like we played well in patches again and we're sort of in the game with about 15, 20 minutes to go. Unfortunately we couldn't finish strongly and, and let them in uh, a couple of easy tries. So they had a good team out, and said the strongest team out, so it was a good uh, test for us. I think a lot of the young boys particularly stepped up quite well. So I think that's something that can take a lot of confidence out of going forward. And you've been playing just behind one of those youngsters, Sam Underhill. You've seen first hand some of the great work he was doing, but also you weren't too far away from Owen Watkin either. You see that he was making an impression, bashing people out of the way. Yeah, they both impressed me early on in the season. Um, especially Owen in the, in the couple of in the warm up game we had in, against Saracens, and Sam Underhill has been playing regularly during the World Cup. So they've both been very impressive for, uh, for young men. So it's. I'm sure it bodes well for the, for the Ospreys if they can um, sort of hang around and I'm sure we see them in Ospreys colours for many years to come. But now we have to park up the disappointment of last Friday, look ahead to this coming Friday. Claremont Auvergne in round five of the Champions Cup. They are top, two points ahead of us in second place, two, two rounds to go, everything to play for. Yeah, it's a big couple of weeks. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot riding on, <clears throat> obviously, this game and the next one away at Exeter. So, first things first, we've got to get this week right. and go in with, I guess, quite confidence if we play our game, we get our things right, um, do the simple things well, we'll create opportunities and then you know, from there if we get a couple of good opportunities, we take them, then we can sort of put the pressure on, on Clermont and they can sort of uh, start chasing the game. It's, I guess it comes down to, to us having some confidence going into the game and just doing the basics well. I suppose it's about being accurate, being clinical and all those things, knowing your roles and just doing what you train all week to do. Yeah, exactly right. Obviously, there's a few players in, in the team that will pride a bit of X Factor. Obviously, Biggs is on, in, in pretty good form and a four pack's going pretty well around the, around the park. So, there's definitely stuff there that will help us score tries and, and get enough points to win this game. So, it's about, I guess, working hard for each other and, as I say, just doing the basics right, attack and D. And then, once we get those opportunities, let's score some tries. And on a personal level, after two years in Italy, Coming to the Ospreys in the summer, this is the kind of game I suppose you wanted to be involved in. Exactly right. This is, um, you know, I never would have played a uh, this type of, I guess, a big match from in, in Italy. So it's nice to, to come here. And obviously, unfortunately, with the, the injury to Reese Webb means I've sort of played a lot more than probably what I thought I would have. So just, I guess, I try and enjoy it and, and take, make the most of it and take the opportunity. This Friday night is Le Crunch Part 2 when the Ospreys take on Clermont Auvergne in the European Rugby Champions Cup. It's second versus first in a tie that could go a long way to deciding who goes through to the quarterfinals. So get behind the Ospreys and secure your ticket now. 
You can buy at the ticket office or online at ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets. Buy online today and print your tickets at home for free. On Sunday, the 31st of January, the Ospreys take on current Pro 12 champions Glasgow at the Liberty Stadium. And what better way to watch the game than from a panoramic view in a hospitality box? With player visits and catering available, call our hospitality team on 01792 616 488 or email hospitality at ospreysrugby.com now to inquire about availability. Ultimately disappointment last weekend against Leinster. Uh, you had a chance to review the performance and look at what went wrong, what went right on the night. Yeah, you know it was a very disappointing performance from us. You know it was a, it was a game that we could have won, but uh, yeah, we reviewed it and we moved on. With you know it's a good thing that we got such a big game and you know we're all excited and relishing the opportunity to play on Friday night. Look at this Friday night's game, Clermont Auvergne. They're first, we're second. Only two points separate in the two teams. It's going to be a huge occasion. Yeah, it's massive. You know, any European game is massive as well, and you know it's such a tight group. But you know, a few teams can qualify, but we just got to concentrate on our own game. And you know, Clermont got to come to the Liberty, and hopefully we can uh, put them under pressure and pick up the victory. What can you take from the game back in round two at their place, where we left with two points? First team to do that in Europe in eight years. So it shows that we know our way through. But can we turn that into a win this weekend? Yeah, you know, we've got to believe in ourselves, and you know we. We put them a lot under a lot of pressure out there, and I think they expected it. So hopefully we can, you know, do the same this week and you know be a little bit more clinical and you know shore up the defence to stop them sort of getting the tries they had out there. So you know, it's, you know, shore up the defence and hopefully we can uh, attack attack as well as we did out there. I think when the pool was drawn last summer, most observers from the outside had us down to finish fourth. Um, so we perhaps made a point or two along the way. But still, a lot of work to be done if we're going to complete the job and progress to the last stage for the first time since 2010. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to be still in the competition at this stage and hopefully we can uh, you know, prove doubt is wrong again this weekend and you know, advance from uh, the Claremont game with a victory. And, you know, it boards a nice little game the week after, but focus is now always on the Claremont game and hopefully we can just get a victory and uh, you know, play well. You've done the analysis. What is the secret of a win against Clement Hill and Liberty? Oh, we don't want to give our tactics away just in case they're watching us here now. That's all for now. Don't forget, Ospreys v Clement or Vern at the Liberty Stadium this Friday night, 7.45pm kickoff. You can get your tickets now from all the usual sources. <laughs>